Well, I found the best way to cut these, and some of them are different hardnesses, but uh, these, these are pretty easy with a nice brand new blade. And by the way, I left my whole toolbox with, with my real knives at a work site. So to improvise and this works pretty well. It has to be a super clean blade to do this. Okay, okay I have some parchment paper. Which will withstand uh, up to 420, 420 degrees, man. Now, I'm staying at 350, so this won't be a problem. And by the way, I'm using this because otherwise the plastic will stick big time. Let's put this in the oven. All right, I will see you in about 45. Okay, well now I wanna make a mold that I can uh, push this stuff into and um, compress it eventually. So, I've got this, it's a pretty good size. Uh, I'm just gonna attach one of these one by twos sort of around it. Okay, so I made myself a little box here um, that I can then take apart if needed to. So, just a couple of screws, some recycled wood over there, um, and then this uh, 2x6 fits pretty snug in there. So, I'm gonna put the plastic in there and clamp it down. been about uh, 30 minutes and it's looking pretty good it's starting to melt onto itself I'm surprised the uh, that white one turned out to be kind of transparent so that's cool well I'm missing a bunch of these cleats so this is the first thing I want to attempt with uh, the HDPE plastic Hopefully it'll be strong enough. Um, not as strong as ABS, which is, I think, what this is. But something to uh, to do with it, you know. Okay. Well, I saw some other guy on YouTube do this, um, and he claimed it would help releasing the plastic, which could make sense because it makes a small layer of, uh, you know sort of ash or whatever. There's a bunch of resin over here. Uh, it actually smells really good. <laughs> Alright, well I decided to just put some wax paper at the bottom and then uh, I'll do one at the top as well just to keep it from being really messy. Okay, let's check out the temperature. Yeah, it looks pretty good. We're exactly at 350. And let him let it do that for a few more minutes. All right, well, I put that whole thing in there and uh, applied a lot of pressure and also I've been using this heat gun that uh, puts out about 400 and something degrees uh, and that's that was just to make it uh, a little more malleable there at the top because it cools really quick so uh, you have to act uh, you have to do this pretty quickly with the clamps <clears throat> okay well let's take a look at this it's been about 40 minutes probably uh, still feels very warm. Let's 
see what the temperature is. It's 227. It's rock solid. Uh, let's see if we can take it off. Little sheet. Well, it looks like I have to use a lot more of this stuff. Good news is I can remelt it with other plastic. Woo! Still hot. All right, guys. Well, here it is. It's my first attempt. Uh, it made a sheet that's uh, about a quarter inch thick uh, but wow this stuff is strong as hell and pretty solid and also waterproof and it floats uh, I think I may just <laughs> run this through the planer uh, and you can see actually this pattern that it picked up from uh, from the wood, so it's uh, can probably be molded really easily. So let's uh, trim this on the bandsaw and uh, run it through the uh, through the planer. Now you can see here that's the uh, that's the resin that just heated up and went through the paper on the side and sort of fuck that up. Let's clean it up. Okay, well I'm just gonna draw out a nice rectangle that I'll, I can then put through the uh, through the bandsaw. Well, it's a lot harder to cut than I imagined, which is actually really good news. And uh, you can see the edges. Uh, there's absolutely no bubbles of any kind, which is also pretty awesome. Okay, let's put this through the planer. Well, there you have it, guys. I put this through the planer. Uh, the first pass was fine, but uh, it did sort of struggle a bit. And on the second pass, it it got all fucked up, and I don't want to mess up the uh, I don't want to mess up the uh, the planer, even though I need some new blades for it. But this stuff is surprisingly just rock hard. I mean, you can barely bend this. Uh, this is, you know, my, minus the stuff that I trimmed out, this is uh, basically two of these cat litter uh, containers. One was uh, white and the other one was this green color, obviously. And I mean, I don't use, uh, I used uh, a bunch of, of, of plastic, but this is all it yielded. So I'm going to need more plastic. Okay, well, I set up my uh, pantograph here, and I have a round bit. I'm going to try to uh, create some circles. 
and see how that comes out and see how the, uh, the plastic behaves with the router. I've got the Panto, Panto router set up here with a little circle jig um, and I also have uh, this threaded rod over here acting as a, as a clamp. So it's pretty secure in there. I don't think it'll go anywhere. That came out pretty awesome. I mean, it's absolutely smooth. There are no burrs, really. I mean, it's just super smooth. I'm happy with that. Here we go. I'm going to try to change the bit and try a different bit here and see if we can get a little more complicated design going on. I'm going to try a little eighth inch bit on this one just to see what it does. Okay, I flipped that around and now I figure I would just sign my awesome piece of artwork and I'm going to do this uh, freehand. <laughs> 